Hey guys, it's Drea. Today I'm doing <laughs> first fashion video. So this is my bedroom where I guess I'm going to be starting to film these. I'm doing American Eagle Kirby Jean try on today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please forgive me. This is new to me as well because I've never done any fashion try on videos before. Normally I do beauty and makeup videos. So yeah, bear with me. I think I might know what I'm doing a little bit. I'm going to describe the fit and the way they look and that's about it. Um, so those of you that don't know me, I used to work at American Eagle and considered myself a jeans expert. I went to working there hating jeans, took the job and ended up leaving there obsessed with their jeans fit. Um, I am obviously plus size, currently around a 14, 16, mainly a 16 I think in most stores. And I've lost seven pounds in the last three weeks, so who knows where it'll go. But um, I would say I'm around a 16 usually in American Eagle lately. Um, and I wanted to try in their new curvy jeans. They didn't have them there when I used to work there. So I thought it'd be fun to bring this to the channel and talk about the fit. I hope that this is an okay angle. I'm trying to get my whole body in the frame for the first time ever. And it's a little bit of a new thing. So in terms of my body shape, I think that curvy is a good thing. Um, I've always had trouble finding jeans anywhere. Literally American Eagle was the only place that I could ever find jeans that fit because I carry all my weight in my thighs in my arms and not very much in my waist. I have a little bit of a butt. But you know, my waist is the first place I lose weight and uh, usually I have more of an hourglass figure there, but definitely have the big thunder thighs. So here's what I have for you. Look at this. Full, full, these are all jeans. All curvy jeans here. I don't even remember how many pairs we have, but we're gonna try them all on. This will probably take a while. Um, first I am wearing the curvy, high rise jegging dream jeans so dream jeans are how do i describe them they're basically like wearing yoga pants like they're super comfortable like you can pop squats in these and you don't feel it so um these are actually a pair of jeans that i already owned before i decided to do this haul because i love dream jeans and i bought them in the curvy so being the what was it again the high rise these seem like way more than high rise I'm very short-waisted, so here's the bottom of my bust, here's my belly button, and then, yeah, like, literally my belly button's right here. So everything that is high-waisted on me is, like, it goes up pretty high. So these are regular high-rise jeans, and a lot of people, they would stop right here. On me, they go about two inches higher than that. You can see they come really high up in the back, they completely cover the butt. The first thing I noticed when I tried on these jeans, because I have other pairs of dream jeans, um, the first thing I noticed was the way the waist kind of cuts in. So it comes all the way up, but I really felt the kind of mm, right in the waist right here. And the waist itself doesn't have very much stretch to it. So these are stretchy as all hell, but this is not so much. So when I first, first put these on, they do feel like they're almost even cutting in a little bit on my waist. And I consider myself to have a waist that can kind of deal with that but if you're like really straight throughout your trunk um that might bother you like you can see from the back i think it's a really good fit into the waist the way the curvy kind of comes and pops in um other than that they're just regular dream jeans super comfortable nice dark wash can't remember what these ones are actually called in terms of the name but they fit just like regular dream jeans and uh, they're super comfortable love them so the next pair i'm going to try on are the next level stretch curvy high rise jegging in i'll put the names like on the screen because they do have names like the name of the jean is what the people that work there actually refer to it as usually um so i'll put the actual name on the screen but it's on my invoice how do i get my invoice these ones i will try on next but these are the next level stretch curvy high rise jegging oh there it is medium repair crackle so high rise should be the same as this in terms of fit next level stretch is if you think about stretch being one way or another way the next level stretch stretches always which makes them really stretchy and they don't tend to bag out when you put them on so i'll try them on now all of the jeans i bought are in this size 16 regular one of the really interesting things that i noticed on the tag on the tag it actually says 33w now 
It never used to say that. So I don't know what, I mean, obviously it's 33 waist, but I guess they're matching up their number now with a waist measurement. So here's my belly button again. <laughs> so I am two inches higher than my belly button. Um, I feel like a lot of the high rise that I used to wear weren't quite that high. Like they would still be above my belly button, but maybe by an inch. So these seem pretty high for only being high rise, not super high rise. And it does say curvy right in the um, description in there. These ones, the waist feels a lot different than on the Dream Jean. The waist on these feels a lot more pliable and looser. I like how they come really high up in the back though. And they do come in more than regular jeans, I think. These ones have the distressing at the ankle, all over the leg, but they have the nice repair behind the, um, whatchamacallit, the rip? The rip, that's the word I'm looking for, the rip. Whereas a lot of the time, I don't like buying ripped jeans because A, everything's hanging out, but B, these always will fray and break, and then what are you left with? Just a big open hole. So it's kind of cute that they have that. These ones I kind of like. I, I'm, I'm okay with like a medium wash. I don't, I don't dislike these. I think they're pretty cute. I'm trying to get all the way in the frame here. But yeah, they do feel a little bit bigger in the waist and the waist doesn't feel as clipped in as the original um, dream jeans that I just tried on. So the next ones I'm gonna try are the Kirby Super High Rise Jigging in Shadow Patch Blues. They made an original version of these that were not Kirby. So they've kind of, I guess, taken a few styles and just made them curvy. These ones, if I get them right up where they're supposed to be, my belly button is here, and that's how high I have to go. There's the bottom of my boobs. So these are very high. Um, I don't know if it's because they're very high-waisted that they feel looser up here, because like they are pretty loose up here still on me. Every, everywhere else in the leg, they feel just like I like my American Eagle jeans to fit. These ones are next level stretch as well, which are super easy. Like you can do squats and you can do lunges. You can easily do lunges in next level stretch jeans. Um, so these are also like a rip and repair style. Very cute. They don't have the extra distressing on the ankle. Nothing going on on the back. So they are all over distressed, all over the thighs. I don't know that I think it's the most flattering thing to like highlight the biggest part of my body, which is the thigh. Um, but they are comfortable, they are stretchy, but again, they're just, they're pretty loose still in the waist. Like I know I would be pulling these up still throughout the day. I have probably about, probably about an inch and a half too much fabric in the waist. These do feel different than the dream jeans, which I feel like fit me almost too tight in the waist. Like they really nip in. There's quite a difference between the way those nip in and these do. I think they all like because they're super high and they come in, they all are very flattering on the butt and the way they look towards the waist. Like if you were gonna wear a crop top with this or even like if I took this shirt and just tied it and had it going on like this, that'd be a pretty cute look. So these next ones, I wanted to grab a whole bunch of different styles in the curvy. I wanted to try them all on. I don't know how this is gonna go because these ones are the mom jeans. Now they do say curvy mom jean stretch. These are cool classic. Um, I could never get away with mom jeans before because there was no stretch in them at all. And my thigh to waist ratio just wouldn't work with that. So let's see if I can even get these on. Okay, I can't believe these ones even got on because never been able to do up a pair of mom jeans on myself before. Um, so these ones are called Cool Classic. There's really nothing distressed except just around the pocket details there. They're the nice, like, light 80s acid wash. I'm trying to get far enough back, you can see the whole thing. Um, so with mom jeans, they're, they're supposed to look loose through the legs and very high-waisted and give you that, like, SNL mom jean butt. Um, on me, I don't think that you're gonna get that just because I have so much to fill out the thigh that even though they fit, it's not really a mom jean look because there's no looseless, no looseness on the legs on me, except for just around the ankle there. Um, these are the only pair where I had to get a different size. These are actually 16 long because they didn't have 16 regular. So for these, I would probably do something like roll them up 
on the leg like that or you could just like cut them off if you have to get the wrong length but why would you why would you pay that much and get the wrong length um, I really just wanted to be able to show you guys how they actually fit but the stretch in these is nice like I would be willing maybe to try uh, mom jeans going forward if they have stretch but in terms of the curviness of them I think mom jeans have always been curvy. That's the whole point of them. They come up very high waisted. They come up very high rise. So mom jeans don't have a like high rise, super high rise, extra high rise, whatever. They're just called mom jeans. Typically they would be considered probably a super high rise, not a highest rise. Um, they, these come up really high. Like here's my belly button. Here's the bottom of my boobs. That's pretty high. Um, when you sit down and you have this issue, it cuts in like right there and <laughs> it's not super comfortable. Um, but they do have the stretch. I think the wash is super cute. The butt looks pretty good. Again, I think the curviness of the butt is the best thing about the curvy jeans. I think the butt looks pretty good. I'm not really giving you a full on view because I'm trying to see, but you tell me what you think. Okay, these ones, get ready, are the next little stretch high rise jegging. Um, curvy high rise checking and I wanted to try and pair that was like a fun pattern for you guys so you could see how they look this is more of like a twill pant material so even though they describe them as next level stretch it's not denim so I'm not really sure why they do that I don't really think that it's the same material I don't think they should do that um, it's basically just like a thin pant type material that does have quite a bit of stretch like I can move my legs around in them um, cute pattern now in terms of the rise this is a lot more what I'm used to when I'm used to high rise jegging so these ones my belly button is right here so you only have like about an inch for me above I don't really like this what's happening here that's not super flattering um, it's given a lot of a shadow there the butt that thing looks okay it looks a little bit more bubble buttish than everything else has I noticed right away that this waistband feels like much tighter. Um, there's no stretch at all to this waistband. This fits like perfect. It's almost even like cutting in at maybe a slightly too much. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Maybe just like a teensy little bit of stomach hanging over. Not too bad of a muffin top. Um, you can kind of see here. But overall, like this is what I would expect the curvy to feel like because it's definitely nipping in in the waist for sure. And there's no give at all to this waist. So this waistband actually feels good, but I don't really particularly love the rest of these pants. I mean, they're okay. They're, they're fun. They're comfortable to move around in. Um, but like I would wear these at Christmas. And then would I wear them any other time during the year? Probably not. So, but they are pretty comfortable to move in. But I think the butt is not quite as cute as the other ones. We're five pairs in. I am super sweaty and hot. We have five more to go. All right, these next ones are just a really nice dark wash. These are the curvy super high rise jeggings in After Midnight in 16 regular. These jeans smell like my grandmother's house, <laughs> like, like kind of a musty smell, like right out of the bag. So these are the after midnight curvy super high rise jegging. Um, I have done super high rise jeggings before. It's not my favorite rise. High rise was typically always my favorite rise just because of my short waistedness. But these ones, this is a good rise. So what I'm kind of finding trying on all these different rises is that it's somewhat inconsistent so here's where my belly button is we have two inches above that's where a lot of the high-rise ones were hitting me right so these are supposed to be super high I don't know they fit exactly the same as those other high-rise ones that I tried you can even see like you can see where my tattoo is I think you've seen it in this video so far that that's about where it's hitting me on the butt as well so that's pretty typical let me move even further back here um, of the high rise, not the super high. So these ones, as opposed to those other high rise ones that I tried on the beginning of the video, these ones are definitely giving me a little bit more of a nip in at the waist as well. So I feel like thinking about all of my other American Eagle jeans, they fit great. Um, but they don't typically come in at the waist here like these are. 
and these ones do kind of feel like they're coming in at the waist. So I'm pulling on it, you can see, I can stick my thumb in there, but it's not, it's not super stretchy where I feel like these are too big. This is the right size for me right now. Um, these are next level stretch. So as opposed to like the dream jeans that you saw me like pop a squat in in the beginning of the video, I can kind of crouch down in these, but I feel it. I feel the stretch more like it feels tighter when I do that. But I love like these are just perfect like in terms of coloring the after midnight. It's just a really nice deep dark denim wash with just the slightest amount of like distressing here, not very much at all. And for me, I really like dark jeans like this. I think they're very flattering. They feel very comfortable. I like where they hit me and they feel good around the waist too. So, so far I think I've liked the fit of these ones the best. Okay, the next ones I'm gonna try are gonna be very interesting for me personally because these are the curvy high rise jegging in proper black. When people will come in asking for black jeans, I would take them right to proper black. I had two pairs in my collection because I loved proper black that much. They are super comfortable black jeans, so let's give these a try. Okay, I decided to bust out my proper black. The ones in front are the ones that I've had for about a year and a half. Um, then line up the inseam. So they're lined up at the inseam. I'm not wearing pants right now, so I don't want to get too far away. But here's the interesting thing. These are both high rise and the curvy ones are about, you can tell, half an inch higher um, in terms of rise and like the width is exactly the same. So the only difference I really see is just this little top part which comes in just slightly more. Now keep in mind I've worn and washed these many, many, many times. Um, but I just thought I'd mention that because the rise is actually higher now on these. Okay, here are the 16 high rise curvy and proper black. Um, so I do feel like the rise is similar to the other high rises that I've tried. There's my belly button. So it's about an inch. I don't know, actually I think this is a more typical high rise like they normally would always have. Um, they're so comfortable. Like if you want a nice pair of black jeans that are just easy to move around in, these ones are great. The interesting thing about black jeans a lot of the time is that for some reason, whatever it is, I think it's something in the dyeing process, black jeans tend to fit a lot tighter than regular blue jeans, um, which makes finding your size really difficult. They fit exactly like every other typical high-rise American Eagle jeggings, so there's no weirdness to the sizing. Um, again, I think the butt is pretty flattering on these guys. They're super comfortable. They fit pretty good in the waist. I feel like there's maybe a little bit of room here, um, and that might loosen up throughout the day. I always used to tell people, if you can fit your hand in here, like, firmly when you're trying them on, that's the right size because it will stretch out about a quarter of an inch. If your jeans stretch out more than a quarter of an inch throughout the day, don't buy those jeans. They're not, that brand's no good. So American Eagle jeans typically will um, stretch about a quarter of an inch, which just gives you a little bit of extra room. So you wanna buy them when they're firm on you. If they are at all loose, then that's not good because they'll just get looser. But yeah, I like these. Proper black is just a classic. Like, I even, I really like the way these look on right now. I might just keep these. Like all the rest of them so far, I don't think I'm going to keep any of them because none of them have blown me away in fit or the way they look. Um, actually, I really liked, what were these ones? I really like these medium repair crackle ones um, with the distressing on the leg. They were too big. But I really like these. Like these are just so nice on. I feel like they look really good on the butt and thighs. They're just very slimming. Might just be because they're black. I don't know, but I really love these ones. All right, we have three more to go. Let's do these because I actually, in my whole time in American Eagle, never tried on a pair of skinny jeans. <laughs> I don't know why. I only wore jeggings, so I actually don't know how these are going to compare um, to the originals, but these are the curvy high-rise skinny jeans in true rinse in the size 16 regular. I know I haven't been saying the prices so far, you guys, but I'll put them on the screen. These ones are super affordable, $39.95 US. Um, so skinny jeans fit pretty much the same as jeggings until the knee, and then they just get slightly looser around the ankle. So let's give these a try, and these are next level stretch as well. 
These ones have a really nice amount of stretch to them. They feel pretty easy to get on, um, but they're not like extra, extra stretchy. If you see my underwear poking out, um, you can see, look at the tattoo, quite a bit of difference. These are a lot more of a low rise. So on me, this is my belly button. This is kind of a typical jigging. So the jigging is the regular rise, and then you go high rise and super high and highest rise and all of that up, up and above. Um, the skinnies, I don't know if they do now, but they never came in rises before. They were always one rise. So this is just a typical rise for skinnies. This feels really good around the waist. These really nip in perfectly, I think. Like on me, you could see there's a little bit. This part is always going to kind of come over. I just have this natural like boop, boop going on in front. But on the sides, you can see there's not a lot of muffin top at all. Um, it just kind of nips in. So, but if you are a very like long-waisted person, I don't know about these because on me, it hits me right where my belly button is. On you, it might be quite a bit lower and then that little nip coming in might cut you off a little bit too much. So, but you can see the ankles on these guys. They're quite a bit looser. So, see there's so much extra fabric fabric in the ankle. Not my favorite look in the world. It doesn't look bad, but the wash is really nice on these. They feel pretty good. I don't really love the butt. With these um, like kind of lower rise ones, I think they're not as flattering on me on my butt as the higher rise ones are. I have two more left. I have another curvy high rise jegging and patch me up. Um, I just wanted to try these because they are so distressed and I thought it'd be fun to try a really, really distressed pair. I don't think the fit's gonna be any different, but it'll be fun to try them there in next level stretch. And then after that, I have a pair of highest rise, which on me will probably not work, but I know you guys would wanna see how they look. So we'll do the last two now. So I was just gonna compliment American Eagle on their consistency in sizing. Um, but I am not going to compliment them on their consistency and rise. We'll get to that in a second. But in terms of sizing, you've seen I've tried on 16s and everything. All of them fit pretty much the same in terms of around my leg, around my butt. The waist is a little, maybe a little iffy. Um, but I think that just kind of has to do with the level of stretch in most of them. But I, know I have all these fibers now, my beautiful soft and sexy t-shirt. Um, okay, here's the thing. The rise is completely inconsistent. So these ones are the curvy high rise jacking. High rise. This is my belly button. Here's the bottom of my boobs. Like that's so much more rise. That's like a super high rise, maybe even like highest rise on me. I don't know. It's, it's really, really high. Um, these definitely have that acid wash. I don't think that that is a very, very, oh, I'm sorry about the sirens, but I have to keep going. I'm so hot and tired. <laughs> so we're just gonna have the sirens in the background for a minute. This kind of acid wash look, I don't think is the most flattering on my body shape. Um, it just, I don't know, you can, it just makes everything look a little wider for some reason. I also have this weird thing. Does anybody else have this? And I know it's just me because it happens to me with every brand of jean that I've ever tried. My left leg it always pulls the seam like to one side it's like skews the seam so these are called patch me up they're not completely patched as you can tell um huge huge unpatched part right here and what happens with this is you know that this is going to go eventually and then you're just going to have this huge open wide hole um these ones i don't know it doesn't bother me as much but something like that definitely is not my favorite and then you can see on the bottom of the ankle really cute distressing on the bottoms i really like that in most jeans i think it's really cute um these are too big in the waist as well i don't know if it's the, just the level of stretch but you can see and i'm not pulling really hard like it just comes out that far but i'll give you a little washing tip whenever you have jeans like this and you want to maintain the integrity of the rips the best thing to do is go buy washing bags from like the dollar store because if you put your ripped up jeans in washing bags then when you throw them in with other jeans and t-shirts and whatever else you put in um 
it's just not going to get snagged on things as easily. So you wash your jeans inside a washing bag and then these stay as long as possible. They're always eventually gonna go, but on your most ripped up jeans, if you want them to remain looking the way they came out of the store, that's just a little tip. Also, don't put your jeans in the dryer, guys. <laughs> that destroys the stretch. That's actually what it does. So when your jeans get looser, a lot of the time it's because you've destroyed the spandex by putting them in the dryer. Yeah, these ones are cute. They're not for me and they are a little bit of a weird fit. Like these don't fit consistently with all the other curvy jeans that I've tried on today. Definitely not in rise and they're very loose in the waist. We are on to the last pair. These are the curvy highest rise jegging in Cobalt Night. They have just a little bit of distressing on them, but I'm very, very interested to see what the rise is like on these ones. Okay, Cobalt Night highest rise, um, next level stretch. They don't feel, they feel okay. Like they feel okay in terms of the stretch. Um, it's a, maybe a little bit tighter and not as stretchy as some of the other ones. They are shorter, and I don't know if that's because of the distressing on the bottom, but to me they are markedly shorter, um, especially in the back of the ankle there. I think you can see just because of the distressing that they are quite a bit higher up, which might be cute if you're going for an ankle jean look. Same thing on the front, especially here, they're a lot shorter. Um, there's something about the quality of this type of thing that has been lacking, I think, lately. I've had another pair of jeans that were a rip and repair type that literally ripped the repair like the first time I wore them and these ones just putting them on I don't know if it wasn't sewn to begin with or not but I could feel it in my knee so what's gonna happen is see that they're eventually just gonna come apart I can feel it over here too there's it just doesn't feel like it's really in there very well yeah there see it doesn't feel like it's in there very well so that's a little bit of a bummer normally American Eagle is pretty consistent with their really good quality but let's talk about the rise. So this is the highest rise. I always feel like, okay, let me pull it right up to the crotch because that's exactly where it's supposed to hit. Um, so they definitely are the highest out of all the ones I've tried. There's my belly button. There's the bottom of my boobs right there. So that is what, like about two and a half inches. Um, but it's not much of a difference from where the super high fell on me, right? Like. I don't know, this rise issue is just being very inconsistent. And then you can see again in the back, like they are pretty high up. I don't know that I love kind of the way the, the fade is right on the butt. Like it kind of like it's highlighting your butt like you have a spotlight on your butt right here. Maybe that's good for some people, like if you have a real Kardashian booty. But for me, I think that's just not like the best and it just kind of cuts off there and gets dark underneath. So these ones, not overly impressed with. Um, not a super fun way to end the video because I really don't really like these ones at all. I think they're kind of really lackluster in quality and just not my favorite style. But overall, I think what I have discovered is that the curvy ones, they feel really good. I think what they're trying to do is fit a specific specific body shape that has been crying out for a proper fit for years. And I actually think it's due to this whole like Kardashian big butt trend that we're even getting curvy jeans. But for those of us that have always had this issue our whole lives, um, I think that it's really good. It's a huge step forward. Like I feel like these type of jeans fit me better than anywhere else. It's just really an issue of the type of fabrication. I think they really need to market and label the fabrications specifically to that jean because even like between next level stretch you saw with those red pants versus an actual denim you have a twill fabric bit versus an actual denim it's not the same thing so it doesn't really help you if you are not able to actually get to an american eagle to try on overall i think the fit in the waist is really good and really feels good and really feels like it looks flattering um specifically on the butt for most of them because it comes up really nice and high and you don't need to worry about sitting down your butt cracks sticking it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Let me know how I did for my first fashion try on video. I had fun. I'm hot and sweaty and this makeup is melting off my face now, but I feel pretty good about it. Um, I think I got every single style. If I didn't, I'll take another look. I'm going to be doing another American Eagle try on 
for like I didn't just buy jeans guys like you have to understand this is one of my favorite brands so I bought a lot of stuff and um, I'm gonna be doing another try on video very soon for all the other stuff that I got from Airy and American Eagle that will go up so subscribe if you like these types of videos and I also have plans to do one for Additionnel which is a Canadian plus size retailer and just kind of show some of their new fall stuff as well but that's it for today I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video bye